FDR for the last final spot. Shifty, who'd you want to jump on board with? To be honest, um, I don't really know. Uh, when I watched Shigar <laughs> play in the last one, I saw Melt do some good things. So let's hop on board with Melt on the offensive side here. Uh, CR going to be on offense first, Squid carrying the bomb. So, uh, as they're uh, going to be pushing into this garage here to try and get control of B, uh, really and truly the only player that is in a position to stop it is uh, Lucid Risky. So let's see here how this goes as CR going to push in and try and get control of B. And Squid is going to be your designated bomb carrier. He is going to be getting the bomb down as well as Striker is going to be taking out Parker for the first blood. So they have the numbers in their advantage now. EMP has about 40 seconds to work with to try and get all four players down of CR. This is not looking too good as Risky is going to get the snipe on Striker now at three on three. Yikes. That snipe was absolutely <laughs> incredible. Striker putting in some shots. Doesn't matter. Risky going to give him the business as we've got two... Uh, 2v3 now in favor of Imperfection. However, that time is beginning to run out. Risky going to Ooh. try and hop on the bomb squid. Huge two-piece from CR Squid to help uh, cement that first round when I saw somebody uh, in the chat just ask what the map count was. It is 1-0 in favor of Critical Reaction. So, wow. So, <laughs> yeah, Sorry. Critical Reaction took the first uh, hard point there, 237 and 191. So, you know, we got a pretty good matchup so far as C, I think the CR took the first round here in the search and destroy. A huge two piece by Squid to get uh, the diffuser off the bomb. Also, another player who was uh, not looking where he's supposed to be looking. And a track and striker as well, having a kill to their own. But now we're going to be seeing uh, EMP, the EMP squad on the offensive side. And I think that's Zerks, who is going to be taken out by Umai Melt. And he also takes out Parker as well. So, four on two situation. And CR is looking pretty strong in the second round as well. Yeah, Mel getting super aggressive on that A-bomb side, able to take out two players, like you said. Risky going to trade off, though. So, 3v2 uh, in favor of CR. I'm going to be hopping on board with Mel as he is kind of just playing this bomb. He knows bomb is down in yellow. So, he's got two players on the back, though, from Imperfection. That is Tez and Risky. Tez absolutely getting turned on. 180 drop shot coming in from Melt there. Phenomenal play. However, um, you know, Risky last alive against three CR players. Not going to matter. CR goes up 2-0. Risky, final, what's your final player left? He was hurt and challenged a gunfight instead of maybe running away, but fortunately he does get closed out. It is going to be by the hands of a tract, rocking the bell. Let's see these shots here. And he almost doesn't really get hurt, so good kill by him as now it is 2-0 in favor of CR going into the third round, switching things over, Shifty. Well, what do you think uh, EMP needs to do to improve their game here? Really and truly, it's just boiled down to slaying, or uh, to trading here. We've And, and not getting first-blooded. Um, we've seen them get first-blooded too, which is definitely not a good thing. Uh, especially in Surge. So getting first blooded here, you know, not a good thing. And we need to see Imperfection trading a little bit more and getting a little bit more map control. Is Melt going to go around this corner? Oh my god, I'm convinced. Maybe Modi's not the best player in the game. Maybe Melt is. That was phenomenal <laughs> shots there on the ASM1 as now we've actually got the bomb carrier. That is Squid pushing out this back area, maybe going to wrap through. Uh, so 3v3, 58 seconds left. Uh, who do you think is going to take it here? I'm not sure. It's now a three-on-two situation as Umai Melt is going to go down by the hands of Parker. Squid is in a position, and he actually does get the bomb down in this A site. Going back this back green, he's got all two players to worry about. Attract is going to get a sniper on Tez, and Squid is able to pick up Zerg. So now a two-on-one. Parker, your last player left. He is going to be cleaned up by Squid. So now three uncontested rounds for CR. So, I don't know, it's looking like that 3-0 direction as well. I hope not, but hopefully EMP is going to be able to pick up a round soon. Yeah, I was, wow. Um, I really expected EMP to come out with a little bit more fire than that. Um, however, not not the case at all. CR really demolishing them in pretty much every facet, whether it's slaying, getting first bloods, or, um, you know, trading those kills. And, you know, really and truly, CR has just been destroying them. However... EMP on an offensive round here. They really need to pick this one up. Being down 3-0 is really bad, but being down 4-0 is even worse. So, <laughs> uh, going to see Tez here push up. Going to pick up one kill as uh, Exert's picking up a second. Attract able to trade that, though. So, 3v2 situation in favor of Imperfection. A minute and 10 seconds left here on this fourth round. 
Yeah, and I was on board with Risky. Uh, rocking the overkill as sub and the sniper. They're going to be rotating, doing a smart play. Of, it looks like they're rotating towards the B site. So they should be able to spot some players over at this mid map. But uh, Striker is over here at this A site. And he is going to be tagged up. That is Tez picking up that kill. Attractor, last player left on the CR squad, facing up against Risky, Zerks, and Tez. And uh, he's rocking the bell, and he's at least in a position to see maybe players cross towards the B side. But the bomb is going to be planted at the A side. Tries to get the melee and misses, unfortunately. So EMP finally picking up a round, as he said. 4-0 would not be a good spot to be in, but 3-1 works. They're staying alive. Yeah, for sure. See, I mean, that's exactly exactly what EMP needed. They, they got aggressive on A. They took the fight to CR. As uh, I believe that was a tracked, maybe not. I don't know who was last live. I don't remember. Maybe it was striker um, pushing yeah, into track, blue. Yeah. Was it a track? Okay, so a track pushing into blue, uh, trying to get the punch, but got some butter knuckles there, uh, slipping right off of him on Tez. But so really and truly, EMP is not out of this yet. Only down two rounds now as CR once again. They've really been favoring. They've really been liking that garage side. So. They're going to be pushing in on B. Going to be able to trade the kill is Squid after he picks up the first blood. That was Parker on Mel Attract taking out a second one. 2v3 now uh, in favor of CR as they're going to try and make a play on B here. <laughs> Squid is going to be your bomb here. Trying to find where these players went. It is going to be be Risky and Zerx, your last player. Players alive for EMP. Risky going to be in this hospital area. And uh, Zerk's going to be in this back locker's area, trying to spot someone, maybe poke out of that green area. But Squid now has to make a decision to maybe go for a bomb plant soon. He is going to be tagged up. And maybe they're looking like they might switch over to this A site, but they're kind of just uh, turtling up in this garage area, maybe waiting for a pick. They do have the numbers in their advantage, so we'd like to see them maybe push towards this B site. As the only player to really worry about is uh, Zerk's in this back locker's area. Throwing down some nades is going to be tagging up a player, but uh, no beans there. Yeah, to be honest, I, I really like what you said there, too. I really agree. You know, with the numbers advantage, you need to not play for picks and kind of turtle in the garage area. It's not a place you want to be in. However, Squid going to be able to get away, probably get this bomb down as well. So Squid and Attract last alive against Exerts. To be honest, they just need to play the plant and the trade as Exerts going to push in the middle. Step fantastic play right there from CR, able to um, pick up that kill there on the middle steps area. So... 4-1 in favor of CR, really and truly, Critical Reaction is looking phenomenal on this search. Really, without a hiccup, to be honest, um, that first rounder that um, M Perfection was able to pick up, you know, kind of a wrinkle, uh, obviously, CR wanted to throw that 6-0 my way, but not going to happen. So, 4-1 in favor of CR, uh, do, you think, do you think M Perfection can bring it back or no? I just hope they can set up just as well as CR is. CR is just always setting up for trades, as you did say in the last round. They just one of the players was planning, and then the other player was head glitching the bomb right behind him. So you, they're just setting up really smart. And now Lucid Risky gonna be your bomb carry, watching for any aggressive pushes from A. Nothing so far, but looking like they're concentrating their forces towards this B site. But waiting maybe for a first blood, as CR has actually pretty, they're pretty set up and they're not playing anything aggressive. As the track is going to be laying right on the B bomb site, so he's going to be ready for anybody to come mid map. But he needs to be careful, as it's looking like the EMP the players are slowly com coming. Oh my God! Towards this B site, and Tez yeah. is going to be taken out by a track, and Parker as well is going down. Yeah, I really like that play that a track made, head glitching the B bomb site. I had his teammates watching his middle area. So there was no way he was going to get picked off, either that head glitch or picked off in middle. Squid and Attract, uh, along with the help of Melt, they're able to pinch in Risky. Now exerts last alive in a 1v4, stuck in school. Not a place you want to be. CR taking that round relatively easily as well. Not a single person dying. So 5-1, really and truly, the searches that we've seen so far have not been close at all. I think that's three rounds in a row in favor of CR as well. Melt on your final kill cam there. My uh, screen's a little frozen right now, but... CR pretty dominant in the search as hopefully we're going to see EMP pick up some rounds here but just looking at the score track 7 and 1 and squid and melt with 6 kills each and striker not doing too much but I mean with 5 and 1 you don't really need to but EMP's doing well doing good they just need to set up just as well as CR is as Umai melt just actually pushed up aggressively towards the green site and Striker, Attract, and Squid all go down, and Melt also picks up Tez. So, one-on-three situation, Melt versus EMP, and he actually picks up another kill there as well. 
if Melt picks up this 1v4, I'm putting my controller down. Uh, he's really not in a bad position. <laughs> ah, he poked it. Parker, just getting the timing there. Parker uh, pre-aiming the area that he was uh, bound to come out of, and Melt just deciding to push forward a little bit too soon. Uh, but really and truly, Melt wasn't in a terrible position uh, to pick up that 1v4. Maybe if he'd have dashed out a little bit, may have had a better chance. But some nice shots coming in from Parker there. Uh, Tez really the only one performing on it in perfection right now. 5-2 uh, still in favor of CR. Really, everybody on CR minus Striker has been slaying out. So I expect CR to take this, to be honest, 5-2. But who knows now with EMP on offense, Risky going to be your bomb carrier here. Risky, your bomb care also rocking a sniper, waiting for some early picks. I'll try on go, go on board with who's this player. Tez is going to be spotting some players in this green area. And who's shooting there? I think that's Squid trying to put some shots down here. He is going to be picking up Tez as some other players to work out here. Going to cook up a grenade. But it doesn't look like it's going to be taking out any players. As now it's a three on four situation in favor of CR. As Melt also goes down by the hands of Parker. So Risky going to be trying to look over this mid-map area with a sniper. But they need to make something happen on the objective work as well. Because they only have one plant versus the three bomb plants that CR has. Yeah, Risky trying to, uh, originally looking like they were going to try and make a play on A was imperfection. However, a tracked, fantastic snipe in the mid area, taking him out on mid box now as Squid going to be alive in this green. Looking like they're going to bait him. The bait and switch works absolutely perfectly. That was phenomenal. Melt putting down some sh shots, getting Parker to push in, had Squid in a corner there to trade it. That's just team chemistry right there, and that's absolutely beautifully played COD. So, Exert's last all five in on 1v2. He's also got to plant the bomb, which he does not have in his hand right now. Uh, it's stuck in the middle area as he's going to try and pick up the bomb. However, Squid's AR shot too strong. CR, 6-2, <laughs> up 2-0, going into comeback up link. I'm thinking we're going to see a 3-0. It's over. He also had a lot of energy drinks. <laughs> That's why we're so hyped for a 6-2-2-0 series. But Xerx was your last player left on, the, I think, the past three rounds. So kind of left out the dry there in a 1v3. It's kind of hard to win. And now, especially he only had 20 seconds to work with, with the bomb going down. So CR taking two maps in a row. This one 6-2. But just looking at the scoreboard, Squid 9-3 and three with also three bomb plants. So doing the slaying and the objective work. So this is going to be pretty strong heading into an uplink, I think, is your next map. I'm not sure what map, but it's an uplink. That's all I know. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's comeback. It should is it be this? Oh, yeah, it's comeback again. It's all right. It's the same maps. So right. going to come back uplink. John, what are you thinking, man? Pretty good. I mean, uh, overall, nice little round there by uh, by uh, CR. I mean, squad looking nice overall. And, uh, you know, these guys are playing for that to head to the final to, to play WGG. And uh, tell, me, tell me that doesn't sound like a great matchup. CR sure. going up against WGG. We could be seeing a game five in that match.